Okay, for this video, what we're going to do is we're going to construct a Venn diagram for these three sets. U represents the universal set, and that's the outside set, the overall set. A and B are both subsets of U. And so what we're going to do is we're going to put them all in the same diagram so that we can visually see where our overlap occurs and what things we have in common. So whenever you construct a Venn diagram, the first thing that you're going to do is draw a large rectangle. And in that large rectangle, the rectangle itself represents the universal set. So this is my universal set U. And then I'm going to draw a circle to represent both of the sets. So I'm going to draw one circle for set A. And because I have at least one element in common between A and B, I am going to draw one circle for B and I have to make sure that they have an overlap. Okay, so A represents the numbers in set A, B represents the number in set B, and because they have some points in common, the overlap represents those common points. If these were disjoint sets where they didn't have anything in common, then we wouldn't have overlapping circles. So now what we want to do is a lot of times what I'll do is I'll just go through the universal set and I'll just go through the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and I'll see kind of where they fall. So the 1, I can see that it falls in B but not in A. So 1 would go here because it's inside both the universal set and set B. Then for number 2, the number 2, because it occurs in all of them, it would go here because it occurs in the intersection of both A and B, and I need to make that a little bit smaller because I do have another one that has to fit in there too. So the two would also go in here, okay? Um, the three, because it's just in U and B, it would go over here in B, but not overlapping in A. Four is just in A. Five is not in either set A or B, so it goes still inside of the rectangle, but it's on the outside of both circles. Um, the six would fall in B, but not in the overlap region of A. The seven would just be in A. The eight falls both inside, uh, or in both A and B, so it would be in the overlap area. And then our last number, 9, is not in either set A or B, so it would just be in the rectangle. So with this, again, just to kind of recap, is go through the universal set. If it falls in one of the subsets, that's where you would put it. If it falls in both of them, you would make sure that it's in the overlap area. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you need me to cover, please let me know that as well. Thanks for watching.